yeah, the start of 2021 has been really difficult. Of course, we left Shanghai in November. Uh, but yeah, like it, it's been really sad because, you know, I miss the studio quite a lot. I've never gotten to experience going to the live studio. The vibe of, of being in a studio and it, it brings more energy to the cast. And it, it gets you in a working mindset. Quality of the broadcast was our deepest concern when we switched over to remote. When it comes to remote casting, I'd say one of the biggest hurdles was really trying to be able to figure out how to work with your co-caster really easily. Tech issues, internet issues, there are so many back and forths we have to make. We have to do a lot of testing before uh, we're able to get through and, and, and make sure we can cast. Uh, the COVID situation changed a lot, including us. So we have to adapt to the situation. Uh, right now, considering about the, the stability of the product and the broadcasting level, so we decided to use remote production. Over, but there's so much damage. First blood goes over to Umi. And a nice first blood going over to Wei. Oh, you can see Wei jumping in. Wei's in the plant. Not going to be able to get it. Three going to be there as they try and turn this one around. He's, no, still, going. He's still going. He's still pushing. He will eventually be taken. So, in recent years, a lot of international fans have been following the LPL because the LPL is so aggressive and uh, there are a lot of team fights. So, people find it very entertaining to watch. And this year is very special as we have to do remote production. So um, it's, a, it's indeed a challenge for us. As LPL is growing rapidly, we are trying to enrich the level of the content to match up with the current situation. We want to match up the expectation of our views, also the expectation of our own team. Generally, the difference of doing broadcast remotely comparing to we're doing it in the studio is that uh, the transmission of the signal is kind of different because we need to send the signal to the caster's home and then we receive it back. One of the biggest issue is that we have to keep it stable all the time. Ah, e, open it. So, one minute. In the broadcast, most of the issues are caused by the network fluctions. Fluctions can destroy everything, like the sound quality, the video quality, and that's why sometimes you can just see the portraits instead of the live cameras and sometimes you just can hear one caster's casting hey what's your cop doing what is your goal so edg and that's why it's all about defensive uh vision of your jungle it's not trying to run their own defense if you have a deal in the united states if you have a deal in 那三个空间内的时间怎么样去统一？那对于整个远程制作来说，才是一个最大的一个课题。Welcome, guys, gals, and non-binary pals to the LPL. We are in day seven of week six. We are flying through our season. I am Penguin. I am joined for the first time in a long time with Dagda. We got ourselves a hell. That shot's just for you, Jason. Look at that. Look at that, Jason. <laughs> So uh, we're at the final day of our quarantine, um, which sounds amazing. You know, 14 days, you did it. This is cool. And we've been told we're not allowed to leave until our flight. So we're still technically in quarantine until tomorrow. So um, fun times. <laughs> I even got all dressed up in my world's gear. 
Hi. How's it going, guys? Good yeah. to see you. Come on in. Yeah. yeah. You can't uh, do we breakfast. say welcome to our crib or something? Yeah. I don't know what we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to Breakfast of Kings. Yeah. <laughs> we had to go from Dublin to Amsterdam, spend the night in Amsterdam, then come back into the airport the next day, go straight to Chengdu, which is still not, it's China, but it's very far away from our final destination. And uh, yeah, doing our two week quarantine there. So, and like all restaurants, bars, everything are closed. Yeah. So coming here and seeing everything open and going is kind of a bit strange, but it's nice. It's good yeah. to be back. Can't wait to try the restaurants. Definitely. Yeah, can't <laughs> wait to try all that kind of stuff. Finally! <laughs> we're back! <laughs> Not quite, but we're almost, we're almost, we're almost there. It's weird being back though. It is. Like, after, well, you left earlier than me. I left I was in January last year, yeah, yeah. I wasn't even here for the full year. You got the full yeah. year. I was I was at home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. Good to be back in the studio. Oh, there he is! Ah, uh, Jason! <laughs> <laughs> Jason! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you guys have moved. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good to see I'll you, man. Time to see. How are you keeping? Yeah, good. <laughs> oh, it's still here. Oh my god. Oh, it's still oh. Nothing has changed so oh. far. <laughs> yes. Find a bag, right? uh, <laughs> so good. A desk and headset. Party poppers are still here. <laughs> we, got, we bought these last year. No. No. Oh! <laughs> <Wait>! <laughs> we made it back. We actually did it. We're here. We're in the studio. We're gonna cast live. <laughs> To have everybody, you know, not have delays and being able to talk to everybody and kind of give feedback and stuff like that. The, the quality is just kind of insanely better when you're able to just kind of like find someone in the person, in the flesh, rather than, you know, a couple hours behind and a couple of hundred miles away. Um, and yeah, and just having live crowds is insane. The energy you get is awesome. So yeah, it just feels good to be back. Who wants to play it? And that's a scary place to be against FBX. A team that gets a kill a minute on average, and you want them to go, yeah, here's the early game you want. I've kind of given it to them anyway. It's just, <laughs> it's yeah. as I, in my head, I'm just like, well, if you're going to give it to them, at least have something in the mid game that can kind of be on counter. Hi guys, welcome to the interview. And welcome to the interview. No, we are going to have a backstage tour as well. So let's go. The stage is here, and also maybe show you guys our Normally after the best of three or best of five, I will like stand by here and just grab a player and then we will make the interview with while well, the audience is not here. And this is our main stage background. You guys have seen so many times in the interviews. Typically I will stand here and the players will be here. I think the stage is ready and then maybe the player they will make some equipment test later. So Maybe let's go. I will try to ask some questions about the in-game content. What I'm more interested in the general strategy or how how did they manage to enlarge their advantage, those kind of questions. Reborn Phoenixes face relentless royalty. All tales lead us to the battle of Wuhan. this year um, because normally the broadcast will put analyst stats on site but the situation was a little bit different because we want to keep the castings very stable during broadcast so that's why we put the caster stage uh, on site for Wuhan. You can see there's so many screens and then testing the light I think. Super cool light. You have so many high-tech machines here. 这次主要是我们采取了一个双远程的一个模式
执行整个英文流的制作。同时，我们还远程连线了英文流在身在欧洲和美国的三位评论员。SOT， 三、二、一 ，SOT， 走。We're, we're neither of us are getting anything, so we can hear each other and we seem to be going through fine, but we're not getting any program sound. Right? I can hear Shanghai, I can hear him, I do not hear program at all. No program. No. So no sound, no sound. No program sound. No, no. I think the biggest difference between say like now, which is kind of the calm before the storm, and when we're actually out there and casting is like you kind of just lose yourself within it. You kind of. You kind of just find yourself just engrossed in the game. The crowd roars, kind of just like helps you just forget absolutely everything, and you just focus on the screen in front of you. I think we fixed it. I think we get program. Yeah. Woohoo! Good job, Jason. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here with you. <laughs> G Series takeover. I know, right? It's mad to think like we literally came from like literally the basement of a hotel, and here we are in the basement of a stadium. <laughs> no, 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 we're in a stadium. We're not a basement. The basement, of a basement. <laughs> There's been a couple of times, that, like right, right the way back when I first started, where like my mind goes completely blank. And what I first had to do, like literally, I remember we did ESL Premiership years ago, and the very first thing I did was I wrote down the first three sentences I was going to say, so I couldn't forget them. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate all the efforts the whole caster team has been doing because there could be a little bit complaints and arguments, but every caster was like, "Okay, I can feel in. I'm free now." Um, can I feel him for for today's broadcast? I, I'm really enjoying working with a team like that, and uh, I think we're just doing better and better. <laughs> And you know that there's people watching at home, and there's people who are, you know, you know, want to feel excited as well because they can't be in the stadium. So you kind of have to, you know, forget about all the nerves and excitement, and kind of go right. I need to make sure that they feel ex as excited as I do, as everyone else does, and stuff like that. So I think, I think once once I'm out there, I should be fine. But right now, I'm uh, kind of bricking it. Me too. Five, four, six, two, one, and. Everybody and welcome to the LPL Spring 2021 Finals. My name is Munchballs and for the analyst desk today, I'm going to be joined as always by Lyric. We're having our very special guest, Frost Gurin, joining us once again. Frost, you joined us for a couple of casts and playoffs now here on the analyst desk. How hyped are you for the finals right here? Because FPX versus RNG, this has got to be a banger. Welcome one and all to the International Wuhan Tennis Center. I am Ushin Penguin Malloy. I am joined by Rob Dagda Price. Thank you, Munchables, Lyric, and Frost Gurren on the Anastec. And of course, thank you to Wendy for that fantastic translation of the opening ceremony. We're going to be bringing you all the action here. I'm excited. How I, you, you mean you have just been like at like God. 90 all day? I know. <laughs> I've been sitting in the back room. I've just been like shaking. I've got jitters. I'm so, so ready for this and you can see the incredible show that's been put on here in Wuhan as well like it's just been absolutely electrifying here to be here with the crowd experiencing everything yeah it is really a sight to behold of course and having the massive fantastic crowd here is something that uh, no one else gets so we win on that front so that's how I go with that one but let's go RNG never really gave him the opportunity, never oh, get the TP. Solar Flare, it lands, and that's gonna force Doobie into an early Zonyas. The Shockwave is enough to only catch one. The Olaf is oh dead, it's FBX God. turning this one around completely. But there's the Kaiser, there's one, there's two. Can Kaiser get any more? There's three. Kaiser with Gala, the Kaiser. Gala, 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 for Gala.